Good morning, beautiful people of Delta State. And yes, welcome here onto the paper review on Quest today. Today is the 17th day in the month of October in the year 2023. A lovely Tuesday morning here in the studios. And I do hope you're having a lovely Tuesday as well. It is now time for us to look into the headlines, making the rounds on the dailies. And my name still remains Uri Kemi Mariam. Making a return back to, to the studios today, we have four newspapers. We have the Guardian, we have the Nation newspaper, we have the Daily Trust, as well as the Punch newspaper. And uh, it is a full house. Yes, with me this morning in the studio, my person, my colleague, the person of my uh, Alex Obunaya, and also Comrade Efe Ogbomo made it here again. Yes, and even though he refuses to become ordained as a bishop, what can we do without him here on, on the paper review? Good morning and welcome, gentlemen. Mm. <laughs> you don't know what to do what date, though. Yeah, yeah, so February 34th. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, with much and all of that being said, let's head straight into the papers. And the first paper for review this morning will be the Guardian newspaper. And on the front page of the Guardian newspaper, there we have a very screaming uh, headline now there. It says, at 1,000 naira per dollar and 30% inflation, over 90% of Nigerians denied healthy diets. Yes, 90% of Nigerians denied healthy diets. Uh, added to that there below, we can see a chart that shows the diet affordability matrix uh, of the nation. But get, do get more on that on page 6 of the Guardian newspaper. Moving away from that, we have APC accuses appeal court panel of compromises as justice recuse, um, justices recuse themselves. Do us get more details on that on page three. Uh, still on page three, we have this Israel and Hamas conflict, and they say that Sultan demands end to killings of civilians in Gaza. Yes, uh, moving away from that, we have Federal government pegs FX rate at 700 naira per dollar as overhead costs spike 26 trillion naira uh, in 2024 budget. Get more details on that on page 6. Tension in the post as Odeyemi defies protests and resumes as PMG. Get more details on that on page 3 of The Guardian. State issue 1. 0.13 trillion naira bonds in 44 years is making it to page 15 and moving on to page 22 all the way to page 24 of the guardian newspaper this morning it says november 14 guba poll state of the race uh, in bayelsa and the final head i'm making it to the front page of the guardian newspaper this morning says motorcyclists more police inspector to death in delta state quite a gruesome one there but if you want to know more details on that you can go to page eight and that's what you can take on the front page of the guardian newspaper over to you alex okay let's quickly look at daily trust newspaper and um the lead story on its front page is uh about the inflation in the country and it is captioned food access drops as inflation hits 18 year high it has some riders and um, there are nigerians lament hunger poverty farmers blame corruption poor policy implementation price drop prices drop in taraba but no money to buy we are intensifying all year food production federal government 17 abducted kaduna villages still in captivity 17 days after you can read up that story on page one of um, uh, the Nigeria Daily, Daily Trust newspaper that is. Experts react as federal government proposes 26 trillion naira for 2024 budget. Ap Appeal court sack Abo fingers Akpabio. Senate president denies involvement. Cattle market northern traders cry out over Abia's eviction threat. And um, Israel, Hamas, war, Saudi Arabia summons Nigeria, other OIC countries to emergency meeting. You can get all those stories directly below the masthead of Daily Trust. FEC OK's $1.5 billion World Bank loan, $80 million equity knowledge zone project. And finally, conjunctivitis outbreak hits 15 LGAs in Adamawa State. Okay, and that's that from the Daily Trust of a team here. All right, the next paper for review this morning is the Daily, is the, the Guard, uh, rather the Nation newspaper. And on the front page of the Nation newspaper, it says federal government proposes 26 trillion naira appropriation for next year. The rather that says lawmakers get supplementary budget. Also, FEC endorses 1.5 billion uh, dollars World Bank loan and 80 million uh, dollars 
for equity knowledge zone do us get more details on this on the front page and uh, page four of the nation newspaper moving above the masthead we have Akpabio uh, uh, sacked Abu okay Akpabio and sacked Abu clash Oh, I don't get this. Akpabio and Sat Abu clash over appeal uh, court verdict is making it to page six of the nation. And also food and fall prices push inflation to 26.72%. Uh, the writer that says IMF says a phenomenon is global. Get more details on that on page four. Kogi was Eros and Dos ADC uh, candidate Abedi Jide is making it to page 22 of the nation as well. But moving below the masthead, we have a banner headline that says two ocean pensioners slum during verification in Oshubu. Yes, the cross side one there is making a round on the dailies this morning. But do also get more details on that on page 27 of the nation. I read that Sarah Lutis B to stall impeachment is also making it on the front page there. As the writer says, our court fixes October 30th for suit. And also, I'm in charge. I carry the tells are protesting PDP chieftains. More details on that on page 5 after reading on the front page. Moving on, we have empowered beneficiaries to get backlog from next month. Uh, get more details on that on page 6. And well, that's much we can take on the front page of the Nation newspaper. With you, Alex. Okay, finally for me, the Punch newspaper. Very many stories begging for attention on its front page. We lead with this one. 2024 federal government plans 26 trillion naira budget. Debt servicing to go up 8.25 trillion naira. If you're interested in that story, you can read up on page 2 of the Punch newspaper. 20 or shoe pensioners suffer exhaustion amid rowdy verification. We can also see pictures of uh, some of the collapsed pensioners being given first aid treatment. Above the mass head, federal government gets over 81.5 billion naira fresh World Bank AFDB loans by December. That's according to the Minister of Finance, Edun. And subsidy removal, narrow fall, push food inflation to 30.64%. Israel Hamas, putting demand ceasefire. Cardinals offer self for hostages. You can read up that story on page 27 of the Punch newspaper. Palliatives, Nigerians condemn poor Russian lambast governors. That's on page that's on page uh, two. Third mainland bridge now a death trap. Motorists lament. You can read up that on pages four and five. And finally, a pavio behind my removal from Senate. Abu alleges that story is on page eight. And um, that's that from the punch newspapers. Okay, at this point, we're sweeping out the headlines on the front pages of all the dailies I mentioned earlier, which is the Guardian newspaper, uh, the Nation newspaper, the Punch newspaper, as well as the Daily Trust. And at this point, it's time for me to open up the phone line so you can call into the show, you know, state your opinions, have your say on the matter, but do not forget you are sticking to the headlines, making the front pages of the dailies. Uh, well, the numbers to call are on your screen. They remain the same for radio, 081 and 0802 931 Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, do also turn down the volume of your TV or radio set. Uh, just uh, step away from it so we don't have connection interruptions like we just had just now. Uh, the numbers still remain the same. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. This yes. is the uh, Enna Kamil Mugale. Welcome on board, by Enna. Please have your seat. Uh, okay. And for the federal government to pay Emperor beneficial in that loan. Yes. Right? Yes. Backlogs. Well, there are only nine months are there, though. They should try, 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 try. They are only in place. All right. All right. He was quite. He just went straight to the point. I hope. He, I do hope he's gotten his documents right. But uh, yes, we are still taking phone calls here on the paper with you. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes. Welcome on board. Your name and your location, please. Yeah. This is Journey of Life hmm. from Ogi. Journey of Life. Okay. Journey to the papers. Yes. The, the budget, the proposed budget, to the six trillion naira. Yes. I hope that budget will go hand for everybody. Hmm. Not the budget that we start phone by the politician. It doesn't work like that. Too. So that budget will take care of everybody for Nigeria. Construction of road, hospital, and other things that matter. That's my contribution. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, Alex, maybe we should pick up the next call. Okay. Hello, good morning. Do we have another caller? If we do, hi, good morning to you. 
Can you please speak up? We can barely hear you. I'm stunned with that cat talking from the room. Okay, go on then. Hello, are you stuck? Okay, I think we may have lost that caller. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, poor network, I guess. Okay, keep the calls coming. Yeah, good morning. Good. We have another caller. Good morning to you. Meet with our colleague from Bushi Fat. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I really want to comment on that uh, palliative, which is the, the governor that did not do well at all. Even I got heard that they are sharing palliative, but I could not even see anything. The government did not try that for that at all. They didn't even perform well. So that is my part. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, all thank right, you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we're still keeping it real here on the paper review and at this point we are taking phone calls. We've just gone through the headlines, making the rounds on the dailies. And the dailies we looked at today was the Guardian, morning. the Nation, uh, the Daily Trust as well as the Punch. Day. Hello, good morning. Yeah, Evangelist Christopher on the line. Evangelist Christopher, welcome on board. Please have your say. I want to talk about this uh, Saudi Arabia calling Nigeria for for meetings. Oh, what yeah. are we in a secular state or is Nigeria an Islamic state? What is really happening in this country? We don't know so the world see us as an Islamic state and they say we are the say we are a secular state and nobody's talking about this. So what's Nigeria's business with OIT? It's it's it's, 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 it's I don't know the kind of hypocrisy, the scam that is going on in this country. We are an Islamic state or what? I want to take the last Islamic State. They're talking about the palliatives. What is the, what is the government doing? We're talking about palliative for Nigerians. Over two trillion dollars they spent for palliatives. For if I, is it palliative we need in this country? What is happening? It dollar is over one thousand dollars. Nobody people talking about this. What is what is happening in this country? We everybody just everybody just quiet. Just taking everything for right. Over one thousand dollars a dollar. Oh, everybody are quiet in the country. Hmm. What, kind of, what kind of country is this? Oh, well, we are, we understand your pain right now, but we have to let you go because well, we we have to manage time here on the paper review. But what he did say was a uh, you know you know mind triggering and all of that. Comrade, at this point, we're moving over to you. And uh, what you've heard, what most of the callers have been talking about. Some have talked about palliatives. Some have talked about uh, the 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 new budget for 2024 and all of that. Well, let's start with the, the issue with food, uh, well, inflation, inflation and food right now. It says food access drops as inflation hits 18-year high. And, uh, well, it says on the front page of the garden that over 90% of Nigerians denied healthy diets. My question now is to you is, when last did you have a full, healthy, balanced diet, comrade? Ah, I don't know why you have to hit me with that. <laughs> I have to hit you with that, comrade. Uh, I think I'll be happy to, do I use uh, the two hands meal a day? Well, I don't have to have you been able to have uh, you know, plants that is for a while now? Yes, I think I do want to know why, because if you think of the food of the country, we just die of very, 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 but it, well, it's stated here on the front page of the Daily Trust. Food access drops as inflation hits 18-year high. What does this mean for many Nigerians right now? Yeah, it is going to remove most, uh, uh, staples from most Nigerian tables because when you cannot afford it, what do you do? Like uh, yesterday, I read a story where a woman was beaten to, the, to, 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 to a pub because of uh, the three plantations she took from the market. Mm -hmm. If she was comfortable not in access to get at her uh, and something is there, she wouldn't have done what she did. You see, we are always talking of this issue every day. What are we doing to shore up our agricultural base? Mm -hmm. Nothing is being done. And we are importing everything. And even the foreign exchange is no longer stable for you to import what you want to import. If you are buying a dollar for about a thousand naira plus, tell me what is going to be the what is going to be the profit margin that you are going to uh, make from it and make people be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. We will continue shouting, 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 unless of course we come back home, we we'll come back to the to the base mm -hmm. of our yeah, well, federal government has said that they are intensifying all year food production. Are you optimistic or pessimistic about this? They should not be telling us, they should not be vowing, they should not be doing anything, anything at all. Show us the physicality of what you are doing. Mm. Not the issue federal government has vowed. Federal government promised, federal government did this. No, we have been we have been this vow, we have been having these promises all year, all year, in year out. Nothing has come to the end. Nothing has come to the future.
Show us what you think you can do. Like uh, what uh, the pastor of the show, uh, uh, Muhammad Bwari said, show us what you have done, not what you were hearing on the newspapers. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me take you up on what the last caller said. OIC, Saudi Arabia calling on Nigerians to attend the OIC meeting. Is Nigeria a member of OIC, Organization of Islamic Countries? And I think the whole nation is aware that we are members of OIC. Okay. IBB did this when it was in office, mm. and nobody has been able to stop that. So if you say that you are not aware that Nigeria is a member of OIC, I think it's not too correct. What we should be talking about now is what is the Christian uh, Christendom doing in the country about this situation? This is a country that we have multidimensional uh, religion. Mm. We have the Muslims, we have the Christians, we have the Habalists, we have the traditional uh, uh, religions, that is uh, the uh, DB, uh, this place, major living in this area. But now you are now tying up the whole country into one religion. Look at the control of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. How many times the word Muslim, how many times was it mentioned? Mm. Then go and check how many times the Christian word was mentioned in the Constitution. It's about ratio 99 to 1. And the Christians were comfortable with it. Now we have a Muslim uh, president, we have a Muslim vice president. Then somebody say asking whether we are a member of OIC. During the build-up of the campaign that brought in this government, a Christian former governor said it does not matter as far as the party wins. We let them let them be Muslim, Muslim, even Muslim president, Muslim vice, Muslim uh, senior president, Muslim speaker, and it does not matter as far as the party wins. Now we are coming back to complain whether we are members of OIC. Hmm. Okay. Why are we not going to be members, and why should we not be members of OIC? Well, let's move away from that before we run out of time. Um, a couple of things, uh, rather. Abo fingers of Fabio says he smells of smells of rats. Uh, <laughs> the rug has been taken, you know, right under his feet and all of that. And he says that the Senate president denies any form of involvement. What's your take on that? I listened to Senator Abo yesterday. He made some salient points. He said there are five that were uh, that were marked to be removed because he did not support Fabio in uh, his fight for the Senate presidency. Senate presidency. Now, he went for that to say, he kicked against some national issues that were detrimental to the nation, that he didn't support President, the, the same fifth ticket for the presidency. And he, he kicked against it, now the presidency and the Senate hierarchy are not at home with what he did. And that is why they went to court and they, 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 they walked behind the scene to remove him. You cannot say no to it, because every allegation has some high of truth. Mm -hmm. But not about it, it's out. Definitely people will say that he's a granny of a drowning man. Mm. But whether he's, he's a drowning man or not, he has made that point. And I think there are as many things to prove into it. What I expect the Nigerian uh, journalists to do is to actually prove into that matter. And if they do, it's going just going to be on record. They cannot reverse it anymore. Mm. Well, comrade, I'm very sure that is your opinion. I know everyone shares that opinion with you. But so sad, we cannot take more calls right now on this segment because we have run out of time for this one. But comrade, yes. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow as usual. Well, uh, Jesus Tarris, and mm -hmm. I pray that Jesus Tarris because I'm not going to Gaza too soon. <laughs> What's happening there? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much, people, for keeping it real here on the paper review. But for me, my crew, and for now, uh, bye for now. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same station.